Hey everyone, how's it going today and welcome to another episode. In today's episode, what I want to talk about as the title suggests is really just about 10 things that I think the average person will spend a lot of money on that really should be considered a waste of money actually for a lot of people. Why this is actually particularly important is that because if you are someone that is looking to save money, which let's be honest, at the end of the day, saving money is always very, very nice, especially if we are talking about on the scale of several thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars dollars we can do these things by simply put cutting our costs but specifically the cost of things that are considered a waste of money now before we begin i will start by prefacing and saying that maybe it's important to notice is that what is considered a waste of money is going to vary from person to person so this video is going to be targeted towards the average audience in general because for example and I'll just throw an example out there. If you are someone that really, really loves music, you might spend a lot of money on concert tickets, while a lot of other people may consider concert tickets as a waste of money. But the reality is, is, is that if you are a concert goer, a very big time concert goer, you might find a lot of fulfillment in enjoying and spending money on going to concerts. But this is just one example. Of course, there are so many examples which we are gonna talk about in today's episode. So with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and and let's get started. So the first thing that should really be considered a waste of money for a lot of people is going to be eating out every single day. Now, this one's a little bit more interesting because I do know at the end of the day, there are obviously some people that are watching this that might be foodies. There are some people that might not be able to cook. But at the end of the day, the big idea behind this one is that eating out today, especially today with inflation and the high cost of groceries, it is really, really, really expensive to be able to do that. So there are some people I know that are literally eating out every single day, which is going to stack up and make it so that they're very, very expensive when it comes to paying for one of the most necessary things that all of us have to buy, which is basically food, because at the end of the day, you can never cut out the cost of food since food is something that we all need to live. But at the end of the day, it is also very, very possible and then if you're able to learn some basic cooking skills, if you're able to maybe focus and change that in, you know, in order to do takeout food instead of having to do eating out all the time and having to pay tip and all the different fees that comes with eating out, you can save a lot of money doing that. So again, it's not a bad thing to eat out once in a while, but it can be a bad thing to eat out every single day. And I think that's gonna be the first thing. Now, it's a little bit more going to lead on to the second thing, which is a little bit of an extension of that that I would say is a waste of money is going to be buying coffee every single day. Now, some people I know are not very big coffee drinkers. I'm not a very big coffee drinker myself, so this doesn't necessarily apply to me. But I know that when I walk on the street every single morning, maybe not every, but the mornings when I do walk on the street, I will see so many people line up at Starbucks, line up at their local coffee shop and spend six, seven dollars, I kid you not, on just a cup of coffee, especially if this is a branded, so a big brand of coffee such as Starbucks, like just mentioned. And because the big idea is that coffee can be a very, very expensive thing at least not necessarily in terms of the five and six dollars that you will put down on the spot but certainly if you buy coffee every single day on a regular basis you could be talking about 20 to 30 dollars a week and with about 50 weeks in a year, 50 times, let's just say 20, again, this is on the conservative end, 50 times 20, that's about $1,000. That's a lot of money that you could be saving and using that $1,000 to maybe travel, to buy experiences, to save up, to invest, to maybe gamble at the casino. Um, that's a little bit more interesting because again, I know gambling, some people say is also a waste of money, but at the very, very end of the day, the bottom line is, is that that's $1,000 that you can be saving if you decide to eliminate coffee from your daily expense. You can do this by simply put buying a latte or coffee machine and then maybe using that in order to kind of make your own coffee or you can switch to an alternative option such as tea which is what i basically drink on a regular basis so that's really going to be the second thing now the third big considered waste of money expense that a lot of people will buy 
um, is going to be physical magazines and newspapers. So this one is especially true for today. I know at the end of the day that there are some people that still love to have the physical copy of a magazine or the physical copy of a newspaper, but for the average and majority of people, these days, you can get the news off of the internet, you can find things you know, on your smartphones, you can, buy, you can see things off of your computer, social media. There are so many, many ways that you can now get up to date about what's going on in the world you can watch this youtube channel and consider subscribing if you're into economic news just joking but you know putting it out there but you technically really can do that uh, but the idea is that there are so many many different methods that you can use to get information that to have to spend money on a physical copy of a magazine or a physical copy of newspaper all it's really going to do for the average person is just lead to a lot of clutter and a lot of personal expenses that should be really potentially cut out for the average person today at least certainly in the year that we are currently in in the 2020s again this is not like the 2000s anymore this is modern era we have technology and a lot of resources that we can use so that's going to be the third thing now the fourth thing that is really should be considered a waste of money by a lot of people that i see many people spend their money on is going to be cheap clothing so this one you have to definitely hear out because I think a lot of people are very, very guilty about it, especially if you are someone that went through an era where you were relatively poor and didn't have a lot of money to spend on expensive clothing. There are obviously some people that might buy clothing that is considered one and done clothing. So for example, like Halloween costumes, most of the time we buy it once and then we don't really wear it again, except maybe once in a year. You know, if you repeat a costume once a year. Uh, so because of that reason, you know, Halloween costumes, that might be one of those things that you may, you know, consider, you know, buying cheaply because again, you don't really wear it that often. And it's kind of funny because we also happen to be, if you're watching this on release date, we happen to be in October of 2024, which happens to be Halloween month. So huge happy Halloween if you guys are watching this around the release date. Um, but the idea really is that there's been a lot of studies and research that shows that because of the uh, the longevity of cheap clothing, it is often better to just simply put pay a little bit more to buy quality clothing that will last you a much longer period of time and lead to a lot less clutter in the house that you can basically buy at one time and wear it for a very long time, especially if it is a very, very common clothing that you may wear on a regular basis. So things such as like dress shirts, dresses, um, ties, shoes, that's a very, very common one jeans a lot of this stuff it's often better and more worth it to spend a little bit extra money to buy quality clothing knowing that it's going to last a long time than to try to cheap out on it and then have it last only a month and then you're simply put forced to now buy the same exact article of clothing once again in the future again unless it's a one done article of clothing like halloween costumes that might be the exception but that's going to be the the fourth thing which is probably a really great extension to the fifth thing that we're going to talk about similarly is going to be a, another big cost that's going to be considered a waste of money is also interestingly going to be taking a look on the other side and it's spending money on designer clothing now this one is interesting because while it is true that you do want to spend a little bit more money to buy quality clothing there comes a point where you have to truly find that balance between how much money you should spend on your clothes if you're upgrading so for example take a pair of jeans if you are upgrading from a $30 pair of jeans to buying an $80 pair of jeans, that may be worth it if you know that the $80 pair of jeans can last you a very, very long time. But if you are now trying to spend an upgrade going from an $80 pair of jeans to a $500 pair of jeans, and I kid you not, there are shoes, jeans, and clothing that people will spend over like just couple hundred to even over $1,000 for, then you might really want to consider if that's really worth your money. Because at the very, very end of the day, there comes to a point where you are going to be able to get the same exact clothing from a different brand, from the same exact quality, the same stitching, even the same look in many, many cases. But just because of the logo that is on that particular clothing, which in some cases the logo might be so small that you can barely see it, 
that particular article of clothing is worth four to five times the price. When you are spending a couple hundred dollars on one article of clothing, that may be time to really reconsider if that's really worth the money. So the bottom line behind this one is that it's important to just find balance. You don't wanna buy cheap clothing but you also don't need to spend like a couple thousand dollars to buy designer clothing as well when you can buy the same exact clothing for something that's right in the very, very well-balanced middle. And I think that's the goal that to really be able to try to achieve for the majority of us when it comes to clothing shopping. But that's going to be the fifth thing. Now, the sixth thing that is really should be considered a waste of money is going to be a similar extension to designer clothing, but it's going to be designer, or in this case, luxury cars, especially car loans, but just really simply put luxury cars. Because it is very, very reasonable that the average middle class family can save up enough money if they're you know, wise enough. And I have many, many videos on this channel talking about saving money, which I might put at the end screen so you can watch after you watch this video. But the idea is that for the average person, it is very, very possible to save up a couple thousand dollars to be able to buy your car off of a middle class income. But when you are upgrading from a, let's just say $10,000 car to a $100,000 luxury car, most people for the average sold to be able to afford a $100,000 car, you often have to take out a car loan. So if you are spending money on one of the biggest wealth killers, which we already have another video also talking about why cars are one of the biggest wealth killers, which I'm going to put at the end screen as well so you can watch it after you watch this video if you're interested. And the idea is that it might be a time to reconsider your mindset um, about where you're parking and spending your money because cars, at the end of the day, it comes to a point that you are going to be able to get a car that's going to be comfortable, that has great mileage, that is able to have a great, you know, number of miles per gallon that is going to be able to get you around to places that you don't need to necessarily invest to buy a $100,000 car when you can buy a car for under $20,000 that works perfectly well. So the bottom line is, is that for this point is, is that if you are spending money on luxury cars, if you are taking out a car loan to be able to pay your car, that might be something that you might consider as a little bit of a waste of money for the average person that just needs a basic car to be able to get around. So that's going to be the next point. Now, the next point that we really have to talk about that is considered a waste of money is going to be something that, similarly to loans, is going to be credit card debt, but especially credit card interest rates. There is a very, very big rule in personal finance, and I think most people already know this by now, but just in case if you are just new to the personal finance world, is really about how most of the time, if you are going to be using your credit card to pay for something, unless it is an absolute emergency, for the average person, it is really, really important to make sure that if you are buying something off using your credit card, you actually have the money on hand to be able to pay that credit card bill at the very, very end of the month. You don't want to accure credit card debt because all of that stuff can potentially add up, especially with interest rates so high right now. I know interest rates are dropping, but they're still relatively high. Um, if you are in a very, very high interest rate environment, that money stacks up. That money can really, really, really add up. So the idea really, bottom line is, is just avoid credit card debt, save money there, consider it as a little bit of a waste of money if you are spending money on the interest that you you know, would have to pay if you are not able to pay off your credit card by the end of the month and just you this, do this to save a lot of money. And that's going to be the next point. Now, the next point that we really, really have to talk about that is considered a waste of money is something that's going to apply to particular people, but especially people in major cities. And it's going to be Uber, Uber and Lyft. But you can really, yeah, Uber slash Lyft. And this one you definitely have to hear out because there are obviously going to be some cases where you have to just pay money for Uber. So for example, if you live in a place that does not have great public transportation, maybe you're in a case where you have a lot of stuff to carry around. Maybe you're trying to go to a place that does not have good public transit access. So maybe you're in a city that does have good public trans um, transportation, but simply put is, is that the specific location you're trying 
train to go to, doesn't have a public transportation stop, then maybe you can consider using Uber to be able to get there. But for the average person, especially if you live in a major city that already has incredible public transportation, such as like New York City, many major cities in Europe, uh, many definitely many major cities in Asia, Hong Kong, so many of those cities, New York City, um, you don't need to spend money on Uber rides when you already have access to such excellent and incredible public transportation. In cases of emergencies, in particular circumstances, you might have to, but for the average soul in the average circumstance, it is you are probably often better off to just try to save that money, especially how expensive Uber can be in a major city. You are often better off to save that money and instead spend it on something else and instead take your local public transportation, which in many cases is significantly cheaper. Uber in New York City can be sometimes like we're talking about $30, $40 just to go across town, whereas like the subway ride in New York City is under $3. So that's the really bottom line is, is Uber. That's one of the biggest things you really have to consider if you're spending a lot of money on. Now, the next thing that we have to share and that's considered a waste of money is something I don't see a lot of other videos talking about, and this one you have to hear out, is going to be skincare, but especially excess skincare. Now, I know at the end of the day, you know, and this is why I say from the first point that I made is, is that this is going to depend on your values because there are some people that just really love collecting skincare products. But for the average person out there, there are so many people that I see that will spend over $1,000 per year on excess skincare. If you have a skin condition, then maybe that's justifiable and very reasonable because again, if you are someone that has a very particular set of circumstances, you may have to spend a lot of money on skincare. But for the average person, even if you have relatively, a, you know, some acne or some relative skin issue that you need to try to solve, um, and I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, so don't take this as medical advice, but it is relatively well known that when it comes to skincare, that spending too much money or using too many skincare products can be very harsh on the skin. You're gonna be putting a lot of chemicals on your face, you're going to be you know, potentially drying your skin out if the skincare products you use are very, very strong. You may be using products that are not suited for you. And I know from personal experience as someone that used to have a lot of skin issues that if you if 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 you try to simplify your skincare routine and again I'm not a doctor but for the average person if you are able to simplify your skincare routine and keep it to just a couple products instead of having to have like an eight nine step skincare routine you will be able to save a lot of money especially considering the fact that skincare products are one of those things that actually expire which means that in many cases if you don't use those skincare products they truly actually do go to waste because then you're forced to throw them out once they expire. That may be a personal expense that you have to really consider um, not or consider trying to save money from. So that's going to be the next thing. And probably the final thing that I really, really want to talk about that is, should be considered a waste of money by a lot of people is going to be alcohol, but even more specifically, buying alcohol at bars. And why do I say this is that because these days, especially if you live in a major city like I do in New York City, alcohol is very, very expensive. In many, many cases, the alcohol is actually more money than the meal itself. I have gone to places where they will try to charge me $20 just to have a cocktail, where my meal is only $15 compared to what the cost of the cocktail is. So. Why this is important is that because alcohol, it is really, really expensive, but the great news is that even if you happen to be a massive drinker, there are so many, many ways that you can save money on alcohol when it comes to going out on a particular weekend night. You definitely can consider pre-gaming. You can consider buying alcohol from your local convenience or drugstore, um, you know, your CVS, your local Dwayne Reed, your local bodega. A lot of these places, you can get a, a case of alcohol in some cases for less than the cost of one cocktail at 
a major bar. So if you are in those particular situations and you're trying to get drunk, which is not particularly healthy, but let's just say you do have to you know, feel the need to get drunk, there's a lot of cheaper ways to do it. You can simply save money by pre-gaming. You can buy things from your local, like mentioned, your bodega, your grocery store, save money there. But you don't necessarily have to go to a bar to drop $20 on a cocktail. And you certainly don't have to go to a bar or a nightclub to drop $1,000 on bottle service. So that's where the big bottom line is, is that for me, I think that by cutting alcohol out from my personal expense, and I'm talking to someone that loves going out as well, so I totally feel it there, um, you can save a lot of money. And I think that going out and spending the, all that money on alcohol is really considered a waste of money for the average person when there really are so many cheaper alternatives to really consider. But of course, a lot of the things we mentioned is going to depend on your values, such as like what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy, what you find fulfilling. But I think that hopefully this list really encompasses a lot of the things that can probably apply to the average person out there. But of course, feel free to share any of your particular thoughts down below, whether you agree, maybe you don't agree, or maybe you have something else to add as well. It is always great to hear from you guys. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay well, and hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.